The animation begins by showing a tiny bee named Maya, who enters the world earlier than her fellow bees. At that time, the diligent caretaker advises her to return to her designated spot until sunrise. But, because Maya is very curious, she sneaks out quietly. And even though she can't fly, she gets a surprise ride on a hardworking bee's back. Together, they go on an amazing adventure through the busy bee colony. Soon after, once the worker bees noticed that Maya was causing trouble, she stumbled onto more worker bees, creating a chaotic situation. Eventually, Maya ended up right in front of the queen bee. Surprisingly, the queen, who had a kind heart, didn't scold Maya. However, a royal advisor named Baslina had a different opinion. She thought Maya should be punished, but instead of punishing Maya, the queen decided to send her to bee school. However, Baslina didn't like the queen's leadership when they arrived at the school. Then, as Maya ventured forth, her curiosity drove her to trail the diligent soldier bees. Even though the soldier bee warned her to halt, Maya couldn't resist the urge to keep following, her voice bubbling with excitement. Soon enough, she found herself outside the confines of the colony. The following day, while Maya is happily playing in a meadow, she unexpectedly meets a playful grasshopper named Flip. Soon after, she follows the beautiful music in the air and discovers that Flip loves music a lot. Excitedly, Flip becomes her guide and shows her all the amazing things in the meadow, which is his special home. Then, they walk together and reach a big field full of beautiful tulips that stretch as far as they can see. But there's a scary secret in this land which was the Gorgo, a hungry beast that eats insects who go too far from the meadow. Then, after their fun adventure, Flip kindly takes Maya back to her cozy nest to make sure she's safe. Meanwhile, busy worker bees and brave soldier bees work hard to collect pollen and make delicious honey. Suddenly, a group of big wasps called the Wasp Colony shows up. Then, things get tense as the wasps come closer to the buzzing bees. In the middle of all the activity, one of the worker bees accidentally drops a basket full of pollen they worked so hard to collect. It turned out pollen is very important for them because it gives them energy. But it seems like bees and wasps have been enemies for a long time in the meadow. The bees, who are naturally suspicious, think the wasps stole their precious pollen. But the wasps strongly deny it and decide to back away from the conflict. Then, as the bees start to realize what's happening, one of the worker bees sadly admits that an important pollen basket is missing, hearing that makes the bees even more suspicious of the wasps. There, they are determined to find the truth and bring their troubling discovery to their queen, seeking her wise advice and guidance. On the other hand, Maya went exploring and accidentally found the place where honey is made from pollen. At the same time, the queen heard about some wasps being around. Meanwhile, Buzlina, who gives advice to the queen, convinced her that they needed to kick the wasps out right away. But the queen was careful and wanted to watch and see what happened first, without bothering the wasps. While all this was going on, a bee brought the news that the special royal jelly, which is important food for the queen, was ready. But Meyer accidentally caused a problem in the honey-making machine and chaos broke out, and the royal jelly was in danger. But then, Buzlina saw this as a chance to do something sneaky. Surprisingly, the queen didn't get mad at Maya. Instead, she told Buzlina to send Maya to school right away. At school, Maya met her teacher, Miss Cassandra, and made a new friend named Willie. They were learning about wasps that day which was the bees' enemies who steal things from them. But Maya's imagination took over and she started thinking about the wasps and even the scary Gorgo monsters as creatures who could be nice. At that time, she was curious why they couldn't be friends. Hearing that, Buzlina quickly disagreed and strongly argued against Maya's ideas. However, Maya often didn't listen to Buzlina's words, and because of that, people thought she was disobedient and she got excluded from the flying lessons. On the other hand, in the wasp nest, Hank, the leader of the wasps, tells his children about how bad the bees are. One of his children named Sting really wants to catch the bees, but Hank says he's too young and not allowed. However, Sting, who is supposed to stay in the hive, secretly goes to search for the bees. At school, Maya feels sad because she can't join the flying class. Luckily, Willie is there to keep her company so she doesn't feel alone. Long story short, Buzlina and Crawley come up with a plan. They steal royal jelly and make it look like the wasps did it. However, Maya, who wants to apologize to Buzlina, discovers their plan by accident. Then, she asks what the royal jelly is for. But, at that time, Buzlina doesn't want her plan to fail, so she kicks Maya out and tells her to go to the grasslands where dangerous bugs can harm her. On the other hand, Willie sees Maya leaving and immediately chases after her to warn her. However, Maya doesn't know about the dangers in the prairie. Luckily, she finds a hiding spot in flower petals and Willie joins her in hiding. While waiting for a safe time, she tells him that she was kicked out of the colony. She also plans to find Flip and wants Willie to come along. 
The next day, Maya, Willy, and Sting set out to find Flip. Along the way, they come across Sting, who is hiding behind leaves. At first, they don't recognize each other. At that time, Sting doesn't know Maya is a bee, and Maya and Willy don't know Sting is a wasp. When Hank, Sting's father, flies by searching for his son, Sting runs away to avoid being found. Meanwhile, Buzzlina stirs up trouble by accusing the wasps of stealing the queen's royal jelly. Soon after, Miss Cassandra informs the bee colony that Maya and Willy have gone missing. However, Buzzlina doesn't care and leaves. And the other bees also seem indifferent to Maya and Willy's disappearance. Eventually, Miss Cassandra has to seek help from Colonel Ant to find them. Soon after, Colonel Ant orders Arnie and Barney to search the Western Prairie area thoroughly. Meanwhile, Maya, Willy, and Sting find themselves entering the Cave of the Stingers. They approach Queen Moth to inquire about Flip's whereabouts. However, Queen Moth gives them vague answers and mentions that Flip is planning a party for the bugs. Then, when they can't give a clear answer, they decide to ask the Dung Beetle. The Beetle tells them the way to find Flip and warns them to avoid the spider's nest. As they continue walking, they accidentally end up in the spider's territory. There, they encounter Sting once again. Then, Willy starts feeling suspicious about Sting and remembers what his teacher taught him about wasps. He realizes that Sting is actually a wasp, and Sting just realizes that Maya and Willy are bees. Suddenly, a big spider captures Sting. Unable to let Sting become the spider's meal, Willy and Maya come to his rescue. Fortunately, they manage to escape from the spider's grasp. Meanwhile, Hank, who is still searching for his missing son, is unexpectedly visited by a group of bees. The bees warn the wasps to leave their territory, but Hank refuses to comply with the bees' orders and is warned that something bad will happen if they stay. Eventually, they decide to leave the area. On the other hand, Arnie and Barney, who were busy collecting pollen, unknowingly ventured into the wasp territory. In a clumsy accident, Arnie accidentally knocked over the pillar supporting the wasp nest, causing it to collapse. Fearing the consequences, they quickly fled from the scene. Soon after, the scene shift back to Maya, Willy, and Sting. At that time, they have arrived at the insect party and the place is buzzing with excitement. Finally, after a long journey, they find Flip. At that moment, all the insects are happily enjoying the party, dancing and having a great time. Meyer even joins in the singing. However, their joy is short-lived when Hank arrives to take Sting away and warns him to stay away from Maya. Soon after, Willy urges Maya to go back home immediately as the prairie is not their rightful place to live. But she insists that this is her home, causing Willy to feel sad and decide to return home alone. Back at the wasp nest, the wasps are shocked to find their home in ruins. They immediately blame the bees for the destruction. Meanwhile, Hank, consumed by anger, rallies the wasp troops for an attack on the bees. In another place, Arnie and Barney reunite with Maya. They inform her that Miss Cassandra has been worried about them. Soon after, Maya learns that the wasps have stolen the royal jelly. This reminds her of Buzzlina, who she believes is behind all of this. Then, Maya decides they must return to the queen and tell her the truth. On their journey, Meyer and Flip encounter Willy once again. However, Willy gets caught by a group of bats while flying. Seeing her friend in danger, Meyer is determined to help him. Then, Flip also joins in to assist. Eventually, they find themselves surrounded by a herd of Gorgo monsters. Afterward, they search for an escape route to return to the bee colony. Meanwhile, Crawley gathers the bees and falsely claims that the queen has died making Buzzlina the new queen. At that time, Buzzlina orders the bees to attack the wasps. In the meantime, Maya, Willy, and Flip find a way out but encounter a large grass doll meant to scare insects. And finally, they manage to escape safely from the situation. The following day, the wasps have gathered and are prepared to start a war against the bees. On the other hand, Sting, who knows about their plans, goes to the beehive to inform Maya. Meanwhile, Maya and her friends reach the beehive, but Flip is stopped by the guards and not allowed to enter. Then, he urges her to go inside quickly. Inside the queen's room, Maya doesn't find the queen but instead encounters Buzzlina, who has taken over as the queen. When the guards enter, she reveals that Buzzlina is the one who stole the royal jelly. However, Buzzlina dismisses Maya's claims and challenges her to prove everything. Shortly after, Maya leads the guards to the royal jelly storage room, but she is unable to provide solid evidence of its existence. On the other hand, Buzzlina, feeling victorious, orders the guards to imprison Maya. In prison, Maya meets the captive queen, who is in a worrisome state. Then, the queen advises Maya to follow her heart. The next day, Sting, Willy, Flip, and Miss Cassandra join forces to save Maya. Suddenly, Miss Cassandra reveals that the queen's life is in danger without royal jelly. Soon after, they urgently need to retrieve it from Buzzlina. At the same time, Maya seeks help from the prairie dwellers she had encountered before. 
Together, they aim to prevent the war and reclaim the royal jelly. On the battlefield, the Bee Army and Wasp troops are ready to fight. Not long after, Maya and her friends arrive, but it seems they are too late to stop the conflict. However, Maya comes up with a clever idea. She uses Gorgo to scare both bees and wasps, preventing them from fighting. Then, they realize they must become friends to avoid being eaten by Gorgo. Soon after, Buzlina eventually discovers Maya's trick and pulls the rope connected to Gorgo, revealing their disguises. Then, Maya explains that it was all a misunderstanding and they should not be enemies. After that, Arnie and Barney confess to Hank about damaging the wasp nest. Meyer also exposes Buzlina as the one who stole the royal jelly. In her anger, Buzlina accidentally pulls the rope again, causing Gorgo's doll to fall on her and Hank. Then, Maya rallies all the insects to lift the Gorgo doll together, rescuing Hank and Buzlina. Shortly after, as Buzlina called Crawley to retrieve her fallen crown, the royal jelly was exposed, revealing all of her lies. After that, Willie quickly grabbed the royal jelly, but shamelessly, Buzlina ordered the bees, especially Maya, to kneel before her. At that moment, Buzlina was ecstatic seeing Maya and the bees bowing, thinking they were welcoming the queen. However, the real queen arrived with Miss Cassandra and her bee troop. In a weakened state, Willie immediately gave the royal jelly to the queen, who soon recovered. The queen then invited Hank and the other wasps to make peace and become friends with the bees. To celebrate the newfound peace, all the insects were invited to the bee palace. There, Willie and Sting were hailed as bee heroes for their bravery. Meanwhile, Maya, credited with uniting the two colonies, was appointed as the bee ambassador. On the other hand, Buzlina, who had committed crimes, was assigned to work as a palace maid. During the party, a bee warrior announced that if a new insect arrives in the meadow, the queen would send Maya as the ambassador to assist them. At that time, Maya happily accepted the responsibility and Willie joined her. The animation ends. The moral lesson of this animation is be curious, be friendly, and be a peacemaker.